What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Anthony, and I just got out of my screening of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And holy shit, y'all, this movie is hype as fuck. I personally, I think this movie is fucking dope. It is a ride. It's an adventure. It's got it's got emotion. It's got action. It's got freaking darkness. It's got tragedy. It's got it's got everything, man. It's got you know characters that you didn't expect. It's got moments you didn't expect. Uh, it's got, dude. I'm telling you right now. This is a fucking Sam Raimi movie to the extreme from the tra to, from the transitions, the zoom ins, the cuts, um, some some of the more like dark comedy elements and, and a lot of horror elements, man. I'm telling y'all, this movie is dark. It is not, you know. I, I mean, I'm sure you know kids can definitely watch it, but this is definitely probably one of the darker movies of the of the MCU in terms of uh, uh, the um, I don't know if gore is the right word, but some of the like uh, brutalness of some of the action. Uh, definitely some of the darkness of the themes and then also like some of the imagery is very dark and like horror inspired there's even a couple like jump scare kind of moments as well like i said very, it's a very dark movie definitely like full-on fucking sam Ray, sam Ray movie i can tell you right now if you don't like sam Ray, sam Raimi's style like uh you know if you don't like his voice uh, his, his direct his director's voice in these movies i'm telling you right now you're you, you might like a lot of the aspects of the film. You might not like the film overall because it is heavily Sam Raimi. I'm actually shocked by how much Marvel let Sam Raimi do his thing in this movie. Personally, I loved it. I, I, I'm a big fan of Sam, Raimi, Sam, Raimi's, Sam Raimi's style. Uh, and to see it shown through this you know Marvel lens, I thought it was so dope. There's even some like goofy... There's even some kind of like goofy dark comedy moments. Kind of like that Army of darkness s like style. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's got some of that flavor at certain parts in the film. But the movie is hype overall. Do your best to avoid spoilers because there's some moments in there that you won't expect. And when you when you see it, it, you know how it is, man. The Marvel crowd gets so hyped, man. It's it's an overall experience. But overall, I really like the film. Again, it's a it's a great ride, great entertainment, great adventure. Uh, some some good uh, character development. Seeing Strange go through a, through uh, through a journey. Seeing America Chavez go through a journey. Um, you know, and kind of like. Uh, realizing their own powers, uh, learning more about themselves, and you know what what it uh, what it means for them to be you know happy and you know uh, I almost I, I kind of reminds you of how Thor: Love and Thunder might be in terms of like searching for yourself and kind of finding yourself um, you know potentially by the end of the movie or at least finding your direction, finding your way, and learning more about yourself and the things that you kind of want out of life. Um, but yeah, like it's an overall. A great story, great performances, man. Performances were fucking great. Benedict Cumberbatch killed it. Rachel McAdams, Rachel McAdams, she did her thing. America Chavez, she was good too. Uh, I forgot who the is it exit exit. I don't know how to say America Chavez character's name, uh, her actress name, but she did awesome too. I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. Um, man, who else was awesome? Uh, dude, freaking Wong was great. He was awesome in this movie too. And dude, Wanda Elizabeth Olsen, man, she just Boy, this movie, her performance is off the charts, man. She had some super emotional moments, man. She went fucking through it in this movie, um, and it was incredible to see. What, what a great performance from everybody. Um, what else? Well, visual effects. You know, tomorrow movie visual effects are fucking awesome. Again, some great imagery, some great shots, and of course that Sam Raimi style of humor. Some great humorous moments in there. I was cracking up throughout the whole movie, man. I really, I just had a good time. This was a good time at the movies. Another great another great Marvel movie. I think it's another win for Marvel. And I'm hoping this movie does really good. Definitely, I highly recommend you go out and check it this weekend so you don't get spoiled by anything because you really don't want to get spoiled and you want to be able to go in this movie you know, somewhat blind to stuff and be able to sit back and enjoy all the surprises, all the adventure, all the heart, all the emotion, all the action, some great fucking fight scenes, man. And just have a good time at the movies watching Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, but that's some of my thoughts. It's right out, right fresh right out of the theater. I'll definitely do like I'll do a more in-depth uh, video on my channel, diving into some of the deep spoilers and things like that, maybe later on this weekend. Uh, but if you've seen it, drop down in the comments uh, what you thought about the movie. Did you think it was awesome? Did you think it was meh? Are you not a big fan of Sam Raimi's style? You know, what were your overall thoughts? I'd love to discuss that down in the comments. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop further videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.